Hi, I'm Rich Rath, and this is the first installment of the Digital Guitar Channel. I have been playing almost solely through an all-digital setup since about 2002, and I want to share with you some of the methods I found for getting great sound and extending the possibilities of the guitar without losing the wonderful feel and expressivity of actually playing a stringed instrument. I'll start with a quick tour of my studio. The music you're hearing is from Replay, Note the two R's, my experimental improv duo with Eric Parker. I'm the RR, and he is the EP of Replay, in case you wonder why we suddenly failed the spelling test. Everything you will hear on this video is processed live by a single laptop, no guitar amps or effect pedals involved. It's all digital, all the time. Here are my guitars. I'll mostly work with the one in the middle, though they all get called on for different things. Let's have a look at that one, though. This is my Godin XTSA. You can find out about this guitar in my three-part review on Way.net. When I'm working on my Windows laptop, nine times out of ten, this is the guitar that I'm using. It's a triple threat, regular electric pickups, a piezo acoustic pickup, and a hexaphonic synth output. I work on three platforms, Windows, iOS, and Linux. What? No Mac? Heresy! I could never afford them before, and now that I probably could, I'm chin deep in my Windows ways, so it's kind of a for better or worse thing. Most serious recording and much of my playing is on my Windows laptop, and we'll spend much of the time there, though the things I'll show you will often translate fine to Mac with a little thought. My Windows setup was originally supposed to be mobile, and I have gig with it, but it has grown so many wires that moving it has become a real project. All those wires connect to a bunch of controllers. Digital guitarists do all the sound processing and software, but the controllers allow me to play the software without getting all fiddly with the mouse. And here is my Axon AX50 guitar synth processor. This is what takes the hexaphonic signal from the guitar and changes it into MIDI messages that I use for a lot of things. Hexaphonic is not anything too fancy, it just means the guitar is able to distinguish which notes are coming from which strings, and if desired, send them out to six different synths. Usually I'll send everything down one lane to keep the feel of playing an integrated instrument, but I'll show you how to do it either way. We'll spend some time here and I'll demonstrate some alternatives to the AX50 since it's no longer available. Actually, you can do much of what the hexaphonic pickup in the AX50 does all on a regular guitar in the computer now, but the old way still has a few tricks that make it worth keeping it in my setup. I'll show you both, plus a few more. Here's the iPad section of the studio. I'm now working on this as my portable setup and hoping it does not set down roots like the laptop. You can get some amazing sounds out of an iPhone or an iPad, and with an audio interface and a portable powered speaker, you can take your show anywhere you want to go, all on a few rechargeable AA batteries. And then there's Linux. I'm using an ancient ThinkPad through an even older PreSonus sound card to run my guitars on the Linux side. There is a great Linux guitar amp emulator called GuitarX that I'll show you. GuitarX and Linux is a fantastic combo to put an old computer to good use as you can run a distribution like AV Linux on, a, on an ancient PC and still get excellent results with very low latency. The latter is a key factor in making digital guitar feel right when you play it. So that's my setup. If you have questions, I'll try to keep an eye on the comments. If you're interested, subscribe to the Digital Guitarist YouTube channel. You can hear my music, Rich Rath, on Way.net. Replay can be found at replay.com. Remember the two R's at the beginning. You can also find Replay and me on SoundCloud, as well as all the usual social media. Thanks for watching and for listening.